the body of a young child found in a duffel bag in West Philadelphia. After this. What is up, everyone? Philly True Crimes back at you. And y'all, look at this body of young child found in a duffel bag in West Philadelphia. Philadelphia police are investigating after a disturbing discovery was made Monday morning. Chip workers found a black duffel bag with juvenile remains inside while picking up trash in the alleyway on the 600th block of North 38th Street. Police say they confirmed that the body was a child aged two to four years old when officers arrived at the scene. Who would have thought that right behind our home there is an innocent two to four year old baby gone, one neighbor said. It is unclear how long the child's body was inside the bag, but police believe it was probably a while. The child was in a poor state of decomposition, said Philadelphia Police Inspector K. Panna Mescoy. The child's identi identity and exact age is not yet known. However, police say they will investigate whether the body is possibly connected to any missing children cases in the area once the identity is determined. The discovery of a body occurred just blocks from the 3800 block of Reno Street, where back in January, police said they executed a search warrant in connection to a missing four-year-old boy identified by family members as Damari Carter. Although Damari's body was never found, investigators say they charged Carter's mother, 28-year-old Dominique Bailey and 30-year-old Kevin Spencer with his murder along with other charges. Damari's cousin told Fox 29 Monday that they are still waiting to hear from investigators to find out if the body found belongs to the four-year-old. The city's homicide department, special victims unit, and medical examiner are all currently investigating. Wow. Imagine if it's that um, little boy, Damari. Wow. Let's take a quick look at the video. Uh, in that community today, this is extremely upsetting. Many of the parents of South, we do know that investigators are continuing to review surveillance video, and they're not ruling out the possibility that this could be the body of a missing child. Oh, my goodness. That's their baby. I got to see the neighbors huddle close together as Philadelphia police swarm the lot at 614 at North 38th Street. Behind the fence, police say two community life improvement program workers, known as CLIP, while cleaning trash, discovered a duffel bag and a child's body inside just before 10 a.m. Ariel Williams says the worker that made the discovery was emotional. I was like, uh, I just feel bad. I'm sorry, they told it Apparently the child was in the posted composition, so we spelled that a while. Homicide and special victims investigators responded to the block along with the medical examiner to determine how and when the child died. Neighbor Stephen Tamba gave police access to his window camera, which pointed towards the lot. The fact that it's a, a child behind the fence, it really does. Who would have thought behind our home here is the infant two or four year old eight or a discovery just a few blocks from the 3800 block of Reno Street, where back in January, police say they executed a search warrant. Wouldn't that be something? Oh, I love to say they charged Carter's mother, 28 year old Daphne Bailey, and 30 year old Kevin Spencer with his murder, among other charges, though Damari's body was never found. Damari's cousin told Fox 29 today they are still waiting to hear from investigators if the body belongs to the four year old. Police said they are investigating if the body belongs to any missing children. Well, this is definitely heartbreaking. I hope that they find out who this little baby is and that way he can be put to rest and that it's just horrible how people can be to take a child and take his life like that oh boy well guys remember just to be grateful for what you know our loved ones and keep our children safe this is dangerous it's dangerous out here so as crazy as the world can be out there, just remember to keep your light shining bright, stay safe, and do the right thing.
And please like and subscribe for the latest Philly crime news. We out.